Four years ago, Keira Knightley was virtually unknown. Now she's Britain's highest paid actress with an Oscar nomination to her name and she's even been voted the world's sexiest woman. All that at the age of 21. Here she is uh, tonight at the premiere of the Pirates of the Caribbean sequel, one of the biggest films of the year. Lovely, isn't she? In an exclusive interview with Katie Derham, also lovely, Kira talked about making that film, coping with fame, and why she'll, why she'll always have a bond with England's former football captain. Captain Sparrow! Elizabeth, you know, these clothes are not flat to you at all. It should be a dress or nothing. I happen to have no dress in my cabin. It's become quite a big thing, this Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, hasn't it? Yeah, it's extraordinary. I mean, when we did the first one, it was based, it was based on a Disney theme park ride, mm. and uh, a pirate film hadn't worked in 50 years, so there wasn't really any hope for it, actually. <laughs> and, of course, you've been working with Johnny, yep. who's created this amazing character yeah. in Jack Sparrow and has got this wonderful reputation and uh, presumably was a delight to work with, was he? He was. I mean, yes, a complete. Uh, he's, he's a really extraordinary actor. He's, um, he's, you know, got the looks of... A god, really. I mean, he was saying how, very nice things about you in interviews as well. Oh, good. Um, <laughs> but he was also saying, I read somewhere, that um, he felt slightly awkward about the sort of slightly more romantic angle to the storyline this time yeah. because you're quite a lot younger than him. I, I am. He's 42. That's 20 years. Which is 20, yeah, which is just over 20 years. So, yes, I didn't. I felt great about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it has been extraordinary looking at the last five years of your career since Bend It Like Beckham. I mean, do you ever have a chance to sit down and think, good Lord, look at what's happened? No, and I think that's a good thing. Um, no, I mean, I, I haven't stopped since Bend It Like Beckham. I think the last five years I finished my GCSEs, went to college for a very short amount of time and, and then haven't stopped working since. I have to ask you about football because clearly it's been somewhat dominating all of our uh, lives yeah. the last few weeks. And um, having been in a film called Bend It Like Beckham... There you go. Yeah. He did it once. He did. It was good. Were you cheering with a certain feeling of sort of ownership and pride? It was awful. They wouldn't... I know I, I definitely was. <laughs> Look, you did it. Oh, it was awful, wasn't it? You must have seen headlines like voted the world's sexiest woman and British phenomenon and the next Elizabeth Taylor and all these things. I mean, is it is it kind of... You say you kept your head in a bubble, but none of us can really avoid oh, seeing no, headlines. Oh, no, I think you can. Really? Yes, absolutely. I mean, I, I mm. very purposefully learnt very early on to not look. Because it's not helpful. I mean, th th because of course I'm not the sexiest woman in the world, and of course I'm not a phenomenon, and I'm not the the next Elizabeth Taylor. I'm not any of those things. I'm somebody who has been extraordinarily mm. lucky. Um, if you believe the good stuff, you have to believe the bad, and neither of them are correct. I'm here to find the man I love. It, it is amazing. It's sort of the last five years have moulded into one mass, mm. but um, but. Yeah, it's been great, and I, I tend to think if it's going well, because it crashes in a second, you might as well enjoy it. Kira and Casey.